Hey everyone, welcome to my tips and tricks videos for painting landscapes. This week I'm going to show you how to paint grass with a fan brush. Uh, what you really want to find is an old fan brush that has some of the bristles missing and some of the pieces are broke off on the tops. Um, you kind of want it to look like this. You want to have a lot of little points at the top of the brush. What that will do is it will create blades of grass uh, when you put it on the canvas. It will also create depth and texture. You'll see what I mean when I begin to paint. So uh, let's get started. As you can see, I've already finished a large portion of this painting, but I'm at the point now where I need to start adding the grass in the foreground. Um, this black strip here, or dark strip, is a mixture of black and raw umber, and that's important because I want some of the dark to show through when I start adding the grass. Um, what I'm going to do is hold the brush kind of at a flat angle and you want the bristles pointing up, like so. And I'm going to do a dabbing motion. And what that's going to do is uh, make little blades of grass sticking up everywhere. And I want to make sure I leave little spaces in between each dab to let some of the dark show through. And that's going to create shadows and texture. Another important thing to remember is where your light source is coming from. As you can see, I have the light traveling this way, so my shadows are going to fall to the left. So you want to load the brush up, and as you can see, the points are already sticking up here, which will create the blades of grass. So, you want to start dabbing like this, and leave little spaces of dark coming through. So you see that creates little textures and shadows, just like it happens in nature. Um, as I approach this tree here, uh, I want to make sure I leave some of the dark behind the tree because that will create a shadow since my light source is coming from this way. Another neat little trick you can do um, when painting grass is take the canvas and actually lift it up off the easel apply grass this way. This creates different angles. Uh, sometimes it's an easier angle to reach the canvas, um, but it just makes it more interesting with the angle of the brush. Sometimes it's hard to hold your hand in many different ways. So you're going to want to keep going over these layers with lighter and lighter color and using the same technique of leaving spaces in between and that will create a lot of depth in your grass. So I'm going to go with a, a lot lighter color here just to show you what I mean. So as you can see, what this does is creates a lot of shadows and texture and you can see little blades of grass. Using a fan brush to paint grass is probably the easiest way that I know of. There are many different ways, uh, you can use a lot of different brushes, but this is probably the easiest way. Thanks for checking out my video this week. Please make sure you visit my website, www.timgonier.com, for further information on online lessons.